हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट अस बिगिन द टेंथ वीडियो ऑफ इंटरनेशनल इकोनॉमिक्स लेसन ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बैंक अकाउंट्स दैट एन एनआरआई पर्सन कैन ओपन इन इंडिया ओके एनआरआई वी हैव ऑलरेडी बीन टेलिंग यू इट इज़ अ नॉन रेसिडेंट इंडियन बट हियर इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बैंक अकाउंट्स सो दीज फैसिलिटीज आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल नॉट जस्ट टू एन आर आईज बट ऑल्सो टू दी पी आई ओज पी आई ओज आर पर्सनस ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन ओके पर्सनस ऑफ Indian origin. So basically, they may not be Indian citizens. They are not Indian citizens, but they have Indian origin. Okay, they are Indian by ethnicity. So they are known as persons of Indian origin. There are certain uh, rules and some guidelines to define PIOs, NRIs, uh, okay, overseas citizens of India, OCIs, etc. Uh, and this is a part of polity. So whenever you are going to study polity for UPSC exam, you will know about this. If you are interested, you can also Google it and you can see what is exactly the difference between all these different terminologies. But for this lesson, just keep in mind that this facility is also available to PIOs along with NRIs. Okay, so let us begin. So basically, NRI people can open three types of bank accounts in India. Okay, they can open an NRO account, which is a non-resident ordinary account. Okay, O stands for ordinary. then second one is nre account which is non resident external account so e stands for external and fcnr is basically the full form is foreign currency non resident okay foreign currency non resident account so these are the three types of accounts that an nri person or pio person can open in indian banks for example they can open it in sbi they can open it in icici okay whichever banks is providing this three facilities they can open it there now what are the uses of these three accounts we will see here so nro account which is non resident ordinary account so basically nri people use that to deposit income earned in india so for example they are having some uh, land in india okay and an nri person is having some land in india and he has given this land on rent to some factory so that factory is going to pay uh, rent to that person nri person and obviously if it is in india he will pay rent in rupees say 50000 per month 1 lakh per month whatever so that money he can deposit in it in nro account because that is a income earned in india he is earning that income in india what is the use of nre account nri account is used to in deposit income earned outside india for example that nri person say he is employed in usa okay and he wants to put some money he wants to save some money in india okay so he he can open an nre account and he can deposit some money in india fcnr account is again to deposit income earned in foreign currency in the indian account so i will tell you the difference between these two okay shortly you will understand what is the difference so basically these two accounts nre account and fcnr account are used to deposit income earned in a foreign country okay in foreign currency okay now whenever you are depositing money in nro account the deposit currency is inr indian rupees because you are earning that money in india you will deposit rupees only in that in nre account you can you deposit the foreign currency because you are earning that income outside india you are earning in dollars or you are earning in pounds you are earning in yen okay so you can deposit your income in uh, okay in foreign currency in fcnr account again the deposits are made in foreign currencies but not all foreign currencies are allowed here only nine foreign currencies are allowed in fcnr account so reserve bank of india allows only nine currency deposits in fcnr account what are these nine currencies us dollar great britain pound australian dollar singapore dollar canadian dollar this is swiss franc okay this is the franc of switzerland swiss franc chf hong kong dollar euro and japanese yen so these nine currencies are allowed to be deposited in fcnr now when you are when you want to withdraw money from the nro account okay when you want to withdraw money from the nro account you can withdraw it in rupees in inr only okay for example you deposit 50000 rupees you can deposit 5000 rupees 10000 rupees whatever out of this in nre account also your withdrawal can only be in indian rupees see this is important you are depositing money in foreign currency for example you are depositing 100 dollars 
and 100 dollars in the foreign automatically it gets converted into rupees depending on the exchange rate on that particular day so for example you are depositing 100 dollars on say 1st january 2022 and on that day the exchange rate was 80 rupees per dollar so automatically in your account uh, the money will be credited as 80 multiplied by 100 which is 8000 rupees okay so 8000 rupees now whenever you want to withdraw you can withdraw only in rupee term you cannot withdraw in dollar so you you cannot say that okay i will withdraw 80 dollars now no you cannot withdraw 80 dollars you can withdraw in rupees only so once you put it you put in foreign currency but you can withdraw only in indian rupees whereas in fcnr account you can withdraw in foreign currency okay you can you you deposit 100 dollars you can withdraw 100 dollars okay you can withdraw in dollar terms so basically what happens because of this uh, be because of this thing that you are depositing in uh, in NRE account you are depositing it in foreign currency but you are withdrawing in rupees so there is a foreign exchange risk here right because see the day you deposit say on 1st January 2022 you are depositing uh, $100 and the exchange rate was uh, 80 rupees per dollar so in rupee term you had 8000 rupees but say after one year it is possible that rupee is uh, appreciating okay so for example if rupee appreciates and the exchange rate after one year on 1st january 2023 if the exchange rate becomes rupees 70 per dollar okay rupees 70 per dollar so now how much money you can withdraw you can withdraw only 7000 rupees so see you have a loss of 1000 rupees here although practically this much fluctuation doesn't happen okay but there is always a foreign exchange risk so this risk is known as foreign exchange risk because your deposit currency and your withdrawal currencies are different that is known as foreign exchange risk when your deposit currency and foreign currencies are different they are known as foreign exchange risk and there is no foreign exchange risk in fcnr account because if you have deposited it in dollars you can withdraw in dollars okay so it doesn't matter what is the exchange rate you have deposited 100 dollars you can get 100 dollars okay now in nro account if you have deposited some money in nro account so you know there is a 30 percent flat tax on that okay so government of india will charge 30 percent tax on that because it is assumed that you know that is an income earned in india and uh, they will be charged flat 30 percent except for the people who are residing in a country where uh, you know india has signed the double taxation avoidance treaty okay double taxation avoidance agreement dtaa so basically it means that if you are taxed in that country you are not taxed in india so only in that case uh, you are not taxed doubly that is you are not taxed in india so in that case it is exempted in nre account it is not taxable because it is not an income earned in india similarly fcnr account it is not taxed nothing is taxed because it is not an income earned in india now in nro account whatever money you are depositing it is repatriable with certain limits okay so what is the limit uh, as of today the rbi has set the limit that you can withdraw principal that whatever principal amount you are uh, depositing you can withdraw up to 1 million dollar per year okay uh, equivalent of 1 million dollar per year you can withdraw so you can withdraw and take it to usa for example uh, you are you are earning something in india and say for example you have uh, saved 1 crore rupees okay one crore rupees in your nro account so this is in rupees term if you feel that i want to take this money to usa okay so up to one million dollar you can take you can convert this money into dollars and you can take up to one million dollar per financial year per year you can take that much money so it is repatriable with certain limits in nre account it is fully repatriable okay if you deposit say thousand dollars or even one million dollars you can take back uh you know one million dollar after conversion because withdrawal is obviously in rupee but after converting in rupee uh, after converting rupee into dollar you can take it it is fully repatriable similarly fcnr account it is fully repatriable now in nro account okay nro account can be current account it can be saving account you can have recurring deposits or fixed deposits also all four types of deposits are allowed so these are basically your time deposits right and these are your current deposits so they are allowed similarly in nre account also you can have current account saving account recurring deposits or fixed deposits whereas in fcnr account fcnr account only term deposits that is recurring deposits and fixed deposits are allowed only this is allowed now 
why people will use these different types of account what are the uses like practically thinking why in which circumstances they will use these different types of account so nro account which is a non resident ordinary account people use usually to invest in indian stock market and to save income earned in india for example i have told you they are earning some rental income in india okay or they are invested in stocks and out of these stocks they are getting some dividend income okay so in order to save this dividend income this rental income they will deposit it in nro account and also they can use this money to invest in the indian stock markets for example they have 1 crore rupees here out of this 1 crore rupees they can invest in equity they can invest in bond etc so they can use that money to uh, invest in the indian stock markets similarly for nre account they can use the money here they are usually used to save money in india due to attractive returns for example somebody is earning in us dollars uh, some nri person he will save money in in indian bank say sbi because sbi is offering 7% interest and in usa the interest is say only 2.5% so obviously that person will feel that okay i am earning only 2.5% in america whereas in india if i deposit it in sbi i will get 7% interest so returns are attractive interest rates are attractive and also some people they want to manage some expenses in india for example their parents are living in india they want to give them monthly some money or something they their parents will withdraw money from that so they have some expenses here they have some maintenance expenses something okay so if they want to manage those expenses in india because in nre account you can deposit in dollar you can withdraw in rupees right so although there is some foreign exchange risk here but uh, you know you can use that money uh, when you know there are attractive returns and when you want to manage expenses in india fcnr account is usually to save in india due to attractive returns again because interest rates are attractive in india and to manage expenses and investment outside india see now if for example there is a person who is in usa he is earning in dollars he is depositing it in indian account as fcnr account because the interest rates are good now he want because since he can withdraw this money in foreign currency terms for example he wants to invest in europe okay he can withdraw this money in foreign currency say he can withdraw it in euro terms okay or he can withdraw it in swiss francs chf so basically he can withdraw it in foreign currency terms and he can use that money to invest in those markets for example he can invest in european markets he can invest in swiss markets etc so something like that japanese market by japanese yen something like that so that is why these are the three different types of bank accounts now here we are talking about the bank accounts of the uh, you know uh, the no, no, nri people who are not residing in india but there is another type of uh, bank account for uh, for for residents of india but if they want to save in foreign currency terms okay if they want to keep their money in dollar terms for example i have say uh, 1 lakh rupees i want to keep this money in my bank account in terms of dollars okay in terms of dollars so for that there is a special provision called as resident foreign currency account okay so that account is foreign currency account but it is for the residents so resident of india to manage foreign income without forex risk okay for example i am living in india i am a resident of india i have some property in in dubai okay i have some property in dubai i am earning rental income from dubai now i am earning that uh, rental income say in dollar terms okay that person is paying it in me dollar now i want to save this money in india but i don't want the foreign exchange risk so i will open this resident foreign currency account i will invest in uh, i will put save this money in dollar terms for example i earn 1000 dollar per month so i will save 1000 dollars okay and i can withdraw in uh, dollar terms only so there is no forex risk so deposits are made in foreign currency withdrawals can also be made in foreign currency as well as indian currency also it depends it, it, it is your choice now this is who will use it so this is usually used by returning indians okay returning indians for example see i will have property in dubai only when i have lived in dubai for some time i was resident of dubai i have done some business there and then after that i have returned back to india okay something like that or i was in singapore for some time i earned some money there i had some savings there i had invested in stocks of singapore now i have come back to india forever and now but i still want to manage my money you know whatever savings i have done there and i want to bring some money back so it is usually used by the returning indians who have savings in foreign currency and want to bring some money back to india so they want to bring some money back to india but they want to avoid the forex risk okay they want to avoid the forex risk so for that resident foreign currency account is there see foreign currency account meaning the account is denominated in foreign currency 
okay so this is a again very uh, uh, you know very uh, important thing uh, when it comes to bank accounts so i hope now you have understood the difference between nro nre and fcnr accounts uh, for different parameters i have explained it to you here if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section we'll continue foreign investments in the next video thank you